My name is Brooke Hudspeth and I am the Chief Practice Officer at the University of Kentucky College of Pharmacy. So even if you're vaccinated, it is still recommended that you are wearing a mask, especially if you are in large crowds, you're in indoor spaces, um, you can still have the potential, even if you're vaccinated, uh, to contract COVID-19 and also to spread COVID-19. We know the vaccines are very effective, especially in helping to prevent severe complications from COVID-19. So while we know it's important to get the vaccine, um, we also want to emphasize that it's important to take these other measures, such as wearing your mask and making sure that you are staying physically distanced, um, that you are washing your hands appropriately, so that we can use all of the tools that we have to really help mitigate the, the consequences that we see from the COVID-19 virus. We know that there are many different types of masks with varying levels of protection. So you can kind of start out thinking about your loosely woven cloth mask. Those are going to provide the least amount of protection. You can t still take steps where you're wearing double mask um, or wearing masks that are cloth mask in addition to the surgical or what we call procedural mask that provide a little bit more protection. So in that case, your procedural mask would go on first, covered with your cloth mask. So if we want a higher level of protection, then we look to the KN95s or the N95 respirators. These provide the highest level of protection against spread of the COVID-19 virus. And those are um, what I am wearing today. They're what you have received. And um, sometimes they may not be quite as comfortable to wear, so you have to make sure that it is fitting appropriately and it's something that you're not gonna take on and off multiple times a day. So KN95 and N95 respirators often have manufacturer recommendations for those specific masks um, in regards of how to safely wear, clean and store those masks. However, um, a good rule of thumb, although most are disposable in nature, is that you can wear these masks until they um, are more loose fitting or they're damaged or they become dirty. At that point, you would want to discard that mask and not use it again. While KN95 mask can't be thrown into the washing machine or hand washed with water like our cloth mask can be. It's still um, important to note that they can be worn if they remain clean. You can store it in something like a brown paper bag. I would recommend against storing in a sealed bag. Leave it in a safe place as to become not contaminated itself um, and then you can um, wear that again when it's time to, to re-don the mask. So again, the most important thing that we can think of when we think about the mask is that we're wearing it correctly and that it fits correctly. Um, and so I will take just a couple of mo moments to walk through the appropriate way to ensure that the mask is on correctly. So, the KN95s that you've received, um, they will come folded and flat. So the first thing you always want to do is make sure before you even get started that you've thoroughly washed your hands with soap and water. Um, you wanna take a look at the mask and inspect it to make sure that there are no um, areas of damage. You wanna make sure that it is clean. And then you will take the mask and unfold it completely. Um, you want to then make sure that you're handling the mask mainly from the outside. You want to put it over the bridge of your nose and the cup of your chin, holding the outside, and then you want to take each strap and loop it around your ears. 
These masks also have a metal nose bridge, so you want to take both hands and push it down to ensure that it is fit snug across the bridge of your nose, both sides. So once you have the mask on, you want to make sure that you are doing a self-check to ensure that it is not leaking, that it is fitting pro appropriately and you have the proper seal. So what you want to do is you want to cup both hands over the mask and then you will make sure as you breathe that air is not leaking from the edges. Another negative pressure test that you can do is when you take a deep breath in, you can ensure that the mask is coming in um, when you take those breaths as well. So when you take off the mask, you want to be careful to not touch the exterior of the mask because that is the area that's going to be the most contaminated. So you will take the mask off by removing each ear loop, using both hands, and then you will just pull it together slightly here and then put it, if you're going to reuse it again, put it in your brown paper sack to store away in a safe, secure place, or you would dispose of that into the trash receptacle. So while most masks are disposable in nature and they're meant to be um, disposed of after use, if you do want to wear the mask multiple times, so long as it is clean and having a proper fit and you aren't having any issues with breathing through the mask, you can wear those multiple times. However, if you notice that it becomes dirty, if your straps become loose and it doesn't have that nice snug fit in order for it to be effective, or if you have issues with breathing through the mask, those would all be signs that it's time to dispose of your mask. And to dispose of a mask, once you are done using it, um, you can just remove it with the appropriate technique that we talked about and throw it in the regular trash. So there are masks that undergo certain tests and are produced in such a way that ensure a certain level of um, protection and a certain level of quality. Um, and there are very specific tests that these masks undergo to ensure that. Um, and as such, when they undergo those tests, they are marked with a specific marking to indicate. And you can find a list of those markings and their levels of qualifications um, on the CDC website. There is a link to, to see what those different types of masks and those markings would be. So while masks are an extremely valuable tool to help prevent the spread of COVID-19, we know there are several other measures that are also important to take to help prevent the spread and keep you as safe as possible. So one of the biggest is the vaccine. We know that vaccines are available and we also know that it's recommended now if you haven't gotten your first vaccine that you go ahead and do that. But if you have and it has been at least five months for the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, or two months for the J&J &J vaccine, um, that you go and get your booster as well. Um, so we know that vaccines are a very key tool that we have to help prevent the spread and help to keep you safe um, in regards to COVID-19. It's also important that you try to physically distance as much as possible, avoid large crowds, as best as you can, um, especially during times when spread is high and transmissibility is high, um, which is what we're seeing right now. And we also want to make sure that we are still continuing to practice proper hand hygiene by washing our hands um, thoroughly.